I just made this Roselia a shiny rose raid doing an in-game exploit. You want to know how I know it's illegal? Watch this. Bruh. That's how I know it's illegal. <laughs> Hey, what's good everybody? So in this video, I wanted to go over how to not get banned in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl because the very same YouTubers who are promoting this shiny glitch exploit, which in turn gives you a illegally generated Pokemon, are banned themselves on Pokemon Sword and Shield for giving out illegally generated Pokemon for money. <laughs> I did this glitch myself. I'll put it up on the screen here just to show you I really did it. Then I saved my game and extracted the save data from my Nintendo Switch using custom firmware. And I put it into the save editor called PK Hex, which you're looking at right now. So if this is your first time looking at PK Hex, you probably have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but basically how it works is you could take a Pokemon and turn it into anything. Sometimes it'll be a legal mod. Sometimes it'll be illegal if that's what you're okay with. So if you take an illegal Pokemon, you try to trade with it or go online with it. And that illegal Pokemon Pokemon has your trainer ought, so ought day, SID, trainer ID. Pokemon's gonna say, hey, this guy has a lot of legal Pokemon. He's always trying to go online at, you know, like what's going on here. It's obviously this guy with his ought. He's trading these illegal Pokemon, original trainer account. The Pokemon he's trading have his original trainer IDs. Like it, this guy is obviously corrupting online play. We're gonna ban him. <laughs> So that's not to be confused with legally generated Pokemon, okay? We'll go back to the Rosary more because that's the premise of the video. But a legally generated Pokemon, which you might have seen corrupt, you know, wonder trade, is you go into PK Hex and you can just make this shiny. That's it. Uh, there you go. Now it's a shiny Pokemon. It's legal. It's all that stuff. So what is an illegal Pokemon? How could you get banned from doing an exploit inside of the game? What happens in the game, as you saw, you're taking the data from a Pokemon and putting that data onto another Pokemon. So essentially, you're going to get a Roserade that knows Flamethrower. Roserade can't learn Flamethrower, Pokemon's gonna be like, yo, this dude has a Roserade that knows Flamethrower. Ban or flag, you know, they're gonna flag it, whatever. So as you saw from the footage, I took this Roserade here and I evolved it and I wanted it to be shiny. So I swapped the Roserade doing the menu glitch with my shiny Gliscor and in turn gave Gliscor's data, including its shininess, over to the Roserade. Now, it's still a Roserade, the species is still a Roserade, but everything else about it is Gliscor. So, that's what happened here. Now, it's, it's still a Roserade. Actually, it wasn't even a Roserade. It was still considered a Gliscor until I went into the summary and backed out. Now, the only thing different between this Gliscor and this Roserade is the species name. Gliscor has three possible abilities. Roserade has three possible abilities. Gliscor had the second ability in its list, Sandville. So, Pokemon registered that as Roserade having Poison Point. So, at least that transfers. But let's look at the Met. So, this was Met in Salacion Town. I met a Roserade in Salacion Town. Gliscor met in Salacion Town. Let's look at the stats. The stats exist exact same attacks this is the big one the attacks are the exact same as you can see they're all red flagged and the original trainer same but that's that's whatever but the encryption constants also the same which is funny so to really know all the details of why this pokemon's illegal just click this right here and you're gonna get alert invalid move two invalid move three invalid move four invalid relearn move expected the following relearn moves growth expected this you know expected stun spores of egg move expected worry seed expected this relearn move moves poison sting inherited move learned by level up so all these things are wrong and you could say okay i'm just gonna go in the game and i'm gonna change this so say you change it to all the right attacks all attacks that this pokemon can learn what's going on why is it still illegal well you can't change relearn moves <laughs> you have to have a save editor but if you have a save editor at that point you can just change whatever so if you do this glitch and you change all the moves it's still illegal why because again the relearn moves there's it, it has poison sting as a relearn move you can't learn poison sting as a relearn move it's not a relearn move for this pokemon <laughs> so if you have a save editor all you do is click right here now you're good now you have a legal pokemon so to say but obviously you guys aren't using a save editor you're in the game so your pokemon just looks like this uh, or at best this but it's still illegal and pokemon will say oh my god you know this guy day with the trainer sid this and the tid this on his home console is trading pokemon with the same information goodbye <laughs> and you'd be like what are the chances of that whatever the same guy telling you how to do this is banned with sword and shield so i ain't no player hater do what you want to do with your game if you want to stay safe, do not go online with this. If you want to flex on your homies IRL, like do that up. That's funny, whatever. But if you're a kid and you don't want to risk getting banned, don't go online with these legal Pokemon. I'll give you guys more visual aspect as well. So I'm going to take this Cyndaquil and I'm going to just generate it as shiny. This is completely fake. So we'll put it right here and then we'll take this Mudkip. We'll set this here. So say we're in game and we want to make Mudkip shiny. So we do the glitch, whatever. And then we replace Mudkip with Cyndaquil's data. 
So basically what happens is mud kip, okay? And guess what? Now you get this. This is what we're given. So what we would be given is a Pokemon met in the Grand Underground, level, level 61, in the wrong location in Area 93. Uh, you know, the stats, whatever. The attacks roll out, burn up, nature power, like what? And then the OT is fine, but the encryption constant is the exact same. Uh, let's go to Trico. Okay, Trico, here we go. You don't, need, you don't even have to make it. You, you can make it shiny if you want. You don't even have to make it shiny for the example. Trico, we can make this Bidoof. Essentially, this is exactly what's going on in game. Okay, now look at this. Oh, Bidoof, look at all this stuff. Look at all these flags that are going off. So you're just taking Pokemon and you are literally changing over them with another Pokemon's data. You literally can't do that. Like, <laughs> you just can't. So also real quick, I didn't even talk about this, but for cloning Pokemon, you know, the cloning exploit, that should be safe. There is an article in data found that I'll put on the screen here. And essentially every time there's a Pokemon put on Pokemon Home, there's actually a Pokemon Home Tracker designated to it, which you can see in PK Hex. And if two Pokemon have the same Home Tracker, Pokemon Home is going to delete them. I've never seen this happen, so they must not really manage it too well, but I thought I would include this just in case you guys are curious. And just for an example, you take this Charmander, you do the cloning glitch, you, all you have is two legal Charmanders now, both legal. All it is, they have this same like PID thing and every Pokemon has a different generated PID. So that's, you know, also another way to track it's the same Pokemon, but there's always a risk of getting banned for like anything glitching, right? So, you know. I'm just saying it's safer than most things <laughs> to go online with these. I mean, it's also generated as legal, right? Uh, again, there's always a risk, so be careful. But the cloning glitch is not to be compared with the shiny glitch where you're literally just taking data from a Pokemon. That's, that's it for the video. Again, stay safe. If you guys want to know how to do this exploit and you're safe with it, now you're aware, watch Papa J. I love Papa J. He's amazing. That's my goat right there. Please watch Papa J if you want any exploits. He literally is a part of the like RNG community, represents them, and gives information out as he finds it. Him and his friends are really knowledgeable about this stuff. He was actually the first one ever to like even uh, stream the shiny raid den things. You know, the GMAX dens. First person in the world to ever stream shiny raid dens was Papa J. Go show him some love. He's the god of his RNG glitch stuff. Go support Papa J, support small creators, don't fall for this stuff for views and clicks and money again come on I, it's been two years it's been going on all right uh, just stay safe i love you guys i'll see you soon peace out <laughs>